Have you ever wondered if someone secretly likes you? In this video, I'm gonna give you 12 signs that might mean someone secretly likes you as more than a friend. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you three common signs that don't mean anything. People really get these last three signs confused. So definitely watch to the end of the video so you can catch those three bonus signs. Hey everybody, I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com, a place where we apply the Bible to your life. So in this episode, again, we're going to talk about how to possibly get an inclination if someone secretly likes you. Now, first off, I also want to give a word of caution. You know, when we're trying to figure out the feelings and thoughts and inner motives of somebody else, we're really getting off track of what the Bible says. Only God knows the heart. We humans cannot see inside of somebody and we don't know what people are thinking and feeling. And we really get into trouble when we start assuming that we do. We start getting into judgment and, you know, just things that we really shouldn't be doing. But on the flip side, Jesus does say in Matthew 7, 16, you shall know them by their fruit. So one thing that the Bible does condone is looking at the actions of people to then get a gauge for what might be going on inside of them. Now, in context, when Jesus said that in Matthew 7, 16, he was talking about salvation. He was talking about how to know if someone's a true Christian or a good teacher, not a false prophet. So again, you know, we're taking a principle and applying it to something totally different than what Jesus originally meant to apply that to, but the principle is still there. You know, actions speak louder than words. You shall know them by their fruit. So in this video, I'm going to give you 12 signs that you can see with your eyes and actually witness someone doing that might mean they actually like you. You also don't want to take these signs in isolation. If you just get one of these signs and you see someone doing one of these things, it probably doesn't mean anything. But if you see a couple of these signs, uh, you know, or a decent amount, that's better evidence that someone might secretly like you. And, uh, you know, before we really get started, the last word of caution is that these tips should really be applied in the beginning of a relationship when things really aren't that serious and you're just trying to figure things out. Don't try to use these tips for later in the relationship or if you're trying to figure out if you should marry somebody or get engaged or something like that. These are just some signs that might come in handy in the early seasons of the relationship. And just as a side note, as we go through these, I'm just going to talk about a guy secretly liking a girl in this video because it's just too much language going on if I'm going he, she, they, all that stuff. So if you're a guy watching this video, these same principles apply. Just change the pronouns around and think of a girl secretly liking a guy. Same thing applies. Number one, if a guy treats you differently than he treats other girls, that's a good sign that he might secretly like you. I remember when I was working in the church as a pastor, one of my good friends was the lead uh, worship leader. And he was a pastor too, and he just had a real pastoral heart. And he was single at the time. He was just a really nice guy. So, you know, a lot of girls thought he liked them because he would help them out. He was nice. He was kind. He would talk to them. But what they didn't realize was that he would do that for anybody. Whether you were a guy or a girl, you were 80 years old or you were 25 years old, he treated everybody the same. So he wasn't flirtatious, he wasn't doing anything inappropriate, he was just a really nice guy who would go out of his way to see how you were doing. So some single girls would get that confused because wow, this guy is paying attention to me and being nice. But if they would have realized he was doing that for everybody, they wouldn't have misunderstood that as a sign that he might secretly like them. So on the flip side, if you see a guy acting differently towards you, that's a good sign that he might actually like you. Point two, when a guy goes out of his way to invite you to something, or if he asks you if you're going to some social event and only plans on going if you're going, that might be a sign that he secretly likes you. Number three, if a guy always ends up sitting by you in group settings, you know, that's a good sign that he's doing that intentionally. And now every now and then you're just going to randomly sit by each other, but if every time you, there's a group setting and he's somewhere near you, you know, that's probably an intentional move. I definitely did that when my wife and I were just friends. I always made sure to kind of subtly make sure I was close to her because I didn't want to be on the other end of the long table where I couldn't talk to her all night. And when I went out with these friends to actually be with her and to get to know her better. So if a guy is trying to be in your proximity and circle, 
you know, that might be a sign he's interested. Number four, if a guy compliments you, that could be a sign that he's interested. Number five, I don't necessarily condone this practice, but a lot of people, you know, like everything on social media or engage with everything on social media that someone they like posts. So if someone is just like constantly liking everything, leaving the first person to comment on it, or, you know, just engaging with everything you post on social media, that might be a sign they're paying extra attention to you on social media. And again, it could mean that, you know, they're interested. Again, in isolation, it probably doesn't mean anything, but if he's not like really social, like socially active on social media, this could be a sign he's, you know, sending you a message. I remember one guy, it was so obvious, every time this girl posted something, he was like the first one to, to comment on it. Even if it really wasn't that interesting or something he was related to or that he was interested in, he would comment. So again, I don't really necessarily condone this practice. It's not like something I support guys or girls doing to send a message. But hey, if a guy or a girl uh, that you like is doing that, you know, might mean that they're interested. Number six, if he looks slightly concerned when you're speaking with another guy, you know, this could be a sign that he has feelings towards you. So jealousy is definitely a sin in the Bible, but I, you know, I'm not talking about this extreme jealousy or control issue or something like that. I know you could take this too far, but you know, it kind of sends a message that if you're talking to somebody or maybe you even go on a date with somebody else and the guy doesn't seem to care at all, you know, that's probably a sign he doesn't like you. But on the flip side, if you kind of tell he's a little, you know, unsettled by the fact that you're communicating with somebody else or someone else might be showing interest in you, that could be a sign that he has feelings for you. Number seven, if he rearranges his schedule to be around you, that, you know, is showing he's putting effort in to be in your life somehow. Now, if you invite somebody, if you invite a guy out, or if you're a guy watching this and you invite a girl out, and they, you know, they say they have plans already and they don't rearrange their schedule, that doesn't mean they're not interested. That doesn't mean that they don't like you. But I do think it's a good sign that if they had plans and they cancel them or rearrange their schedule to make it work with you, you know, that's definitely positive. Number eight is kind of like a pro and a con. Um, you know, if a guy acts kind of awkward around you, it might mean that he has feelings for you. Again, you kind of, you know, probably aren't attracted to someone who's acting really awkward or doesn't know what to say around you. But, you know, some guys just aren't that good with words. But once you get to know them and you give them a chance, they'll open up, become more relaxed, and you'll get to see their true colors. So if you get around somebody and they kind of freeze up and they act kind of awkward at first, you know, that, that's a subtle sign, a kind of a tell that they might be interested in you as more than a friend. So if someone like that, you might want to give them a chance, be around them a little bit. They'll probably open up and you'll get to see if you're interested in them too. Number nine is one that a player can use or someone who just genuinely likes you and that they'll talk to you more. Again, this one I think is a little bit more obvious for guys because a generalization is that guys just don't talk as much. The words just don't flow as naturally for most guys. But if a guy likes you, he's gonna go out of his way to small talk and you know communicate with you. So if he talks to you more than he talks to other girls, this is a good sign that maybe he has feelings or he's gauging if you're interested back in him. But again, you want to be careful with this. If a guy's doing this to everybody or, um, you know, he's going too far emotionally and having these big, you know, in-depth conversations but not trying to commit to you, that's a red flag and probably a sign that he's a player. Number 10 is a sign that used to happen to me and my wife all the time when we were friends. And that's other people make comments about our connection with each other. If other people are making little lines about the chemistry or they say little things like, geez, didn't feel like anyone else was in the room when you two were there, something like that, that's a subtle sign that, you know, other people are noticing the chemistry and, you know, might validate the questions that you're having. Like, does this person like me or not? If other people are noticing it too, that's a good sign. Number 11, again, some guys aren't as, you know, verbally expressive. They don't, their words don't come as natural, but they might be really eager 
to show their affection or their interest in you through service. You know, maybe they're just really good with their hands. They can fix your car. They can help you, you know, repair something on your house. Uh, you're moving and they're like, well, okay, I'll help you move. If they're really eager to help you out, that's a good sign that they're trying to show you that, you know, they're interested and that they care about you. Number 12, hopefully doesn't have to happen very often, but if it does, it's a strong sign that he likes you. And that's, he sticks up for you even when you're not around. If someone's talking bad about you or there's gossip or something's going on and you're not even there and he sticks up for you, that's a really good indicator that he has, you know, strong feelings for you and is willing to, you know, um, protect your honor even if you weren't there to see it. All right, well, if you've made it this far, you get the three bonus signs that probably don't mean anything. And number one is the one that I see most people make a mistake on. And this is eye contact. A lot of times girls ask me, you know, there was heavy eye contact between me and this guy. Does this mean he likes me? Um, you know, probably not. Eye contact just happens sometimes. And to be frank, if you're interested in him and you're kind of always looking at him, he might be making eye contact with you because he sees you making eye contact with him. Um, again, my friend, the guy I talked about earlier in the video who was a worship leader, uh, he was single at the time. I was a pastor at the church and he was a pastor at the church. You know, it was kind of comical, like m m multiple girls throughout our years, you know, pastoring there thought that he was making eye contact with them when he was on stage worshiping and leading the congregation in worship, which, you know, is kind of a common experience that I hear about a lot. So it wasn't happening. You know, if you've ever been on one of those modern stages, we had all these lights and fancy hoopla and blah, blah, blah. It's impossible to see the audience when you're up there. The lights are blinding. You're just kind of looking out and when you're in the audience, it looks like they're looking at you, but they're really not. So, you know, eye contact is definitely something that probably isn't a sign that someone likes you. Number two, might hurt your feelings or might contradict an experience you've heard someone else had. You know, this is just from what I've witnessed. Um, it's that if you have a feeling from God that this person you just met is going to be your future spouse one day, but you barely know the person or you just meet the person and you feel like you had this, you know, existential feeling from God that he told you this is going to be your spouse, usually that's not accurate. Um, you know, this might be another topic. You can go to my website and I have a whole article series on how to hear the voice of God. Um, you know, it's possible. I'm not saying God couldn't do that, but most of the times when that happens, it's usually your feelings kind of filling in for the voice of God because you want it so bad and because this person, you're attracted to this person. But, you know, Again, it, it's really unlikely that God would do that. God usually tells you the next step that you need to take. It's not something that he normally does to tell you your whole future and that he doesn't confirm with the other person. If God really tells you that this is going to be your spouse, then the reality of that situation is going to match what you heard in your head. You know, your, the voice that you hear in your head doesn't overrule the reality that you're actually living in. The third point is if you randomly run into that person on the street, that's not a sign from God that this person automatically likes you. More than likely, it's just a coincidence. Well, again, I'm Mark from AppliedGodsWord.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, share it with your friends. They might ben benefit from it too. And definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And you might also enjoy my book, The Ultimate Guide to Christian Singleness. It's in paperback and for free on my website in an ebook version. So I'll leave some links in the description of this video if that's something that's interesting to you. Well, have a good one and God bless.